When people see a 3D virtual space being used with school students, they often ask, why are these kids playing games instead of learning? People have a tendency to associate this sort of virtual environment with computer games. But a 3D virtual environment is not a game. It's a space. It's a space with its own special rules and potentials. Just like a classroom is a space, or the school oval, or the science lab is a space. Sure, you can play games in the space. The space itself is neither good nor bad for education. It depends entirely what you're doing in the space. At Northern Beaches Christian School in Sydney, Australia, we've established a 3D virtual space that we're very deliberately using for learning. We use the space for learning in two very distinct ways. The first way is using the space for undirected, unplanned student learning, where students use their initiative and creativity to build, explore and create in teams of students. The second way is when teachers use the space for directed, supervised, structured learning, where students take part in an activity designed to target and to develop a specific skill. All of these buildings were created by students independently, collaboratively, using skills that they acquired by themselves with no teacher assistance. They used initiative, research and showed perseverance and working together have created these buildings. Let's have a look at them. Here is a student created clothing shop selling virtual clothes that other students can wear for virtual money. In fact, this particular student now takes other students' clothing designs and sells them on in this clothing store on a commission basis. Here, students have created and managed their own bookstore, selling literature, uh, poems and stories.